Alright, so in this video we're going to take a look at uh, building a big muff pedal. I've never built a pedal before. Um, I watched a fellow YouTuber's video on this, The Guitologist. If you haven't checked out The Guitologist, please do. Probably my favorite channel. Uh, but anyway, I thought it looked pretty neat. And uh, uh, never, I've, I've got all the pieces, all of the resistors, transistors, capacitors, etc. Uh, but I've never had the uh, pleasure of actually building a, a pedal on a perforated circuit board. So, um, let's do that, and then let's have a demo. Now, what's interesting is I don't have the right values uh, for some of these. So, I'm just going to use values closest to, to the ones that are listed here. Uh, as you can see, I've got some of my pieces. The diodes appear to be right, the transistors appear to be right. I've got my little circuit board padded on one side. Um, what I don't have are some of these weird resistor values. These. Uh, other than that, I, I've got it all. So, uh, let's see. I've never built a pedal before. Let's see if this will be a disaster or a lot of fun. Alright, I'm just going to start at the top, work my way down. That may not be the way to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. First thing we want to do is add this pot here. And looks like it's going to fit perfectly. It's coming along, but it's very difficult. Um, I'm just learning how to do solder traces. I don't have any 24 gauge wire, so I'm trying to do all solder traces. Um, which gets tricky because the solder likes to bleed over to other rows where it's not supposed to. Uh, besides that, things are going well. And I've learned a lot about soldering and soldering techniques with this uh, through hole soldering. So, we're just going to keep on plugging away. Plugging along here, you can see we're almost there. Will it work? I don't know. Probably not. This is my first pedal ever, and I apparently picked a complex one. But I was like, well, it was made in the 60s or 70s when it was made. I was like, it can't be that complex. Dead wrong. All right, so it looks like <clears throat> we're almost done. We got a few more components under this uh, transistor here and uh, to the side, and then we're good to go. Uh, you can see the back looks pretty scary. That was time consuming. Each one should not be touching each other. Each one should be exactly as it should be. And for someone with very little experience, this was incredibly difficult. So if we get a sound out of this, I'll be really, really surprised, especially since we're using slightly different value components. All right, now we're hooking up the battery the jacks and I'm hoping that this is acceptable as a ground bus where I can have three separate grounds one for the input one for the output and one for the battery we'll see there it is in all its glory first I'm gonna test out the amp make sure the amps good all right the amp itself works basic 65 twin Got that that and we've got the battery will it make sound probably not but what if it did ready nothing as predicted well that was a fun 10 hours all right we got it Sounds awesome. All right, so we finished the uh, fuzz with the scrap parts, and this is how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 